Everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil the HD Remaster. Hopefully, we're doing last we left off. We are in an area of the game which was not in the original. I mean, it was in the original remaster, but not the, this version. Not the. I mean, you know what I mean. This area is all new, except for when it was on GameCube. So just. Take my word for it, this is different than what should be expected by someone who's old school. Such as moi. I was around when the uh, original, original Resident Evil came out. Oh, yes, indeed, I was. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Pardon? Holy beholders. I'm sure you got a Wesker. Whiskers die. Stop that. I was supposed to game over if Wesker died. And again, what does it matter? End to a poor girl's misery. To my Lisa, day by day I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes Made some of mommy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shots, mommy can think straight, but mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy. What your faces look like, how we used to be together, they're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. At least I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I could hold on to our wonderful memories of you and daddy. He said, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. He said, listen to me. Our chance to escape is the next time we, we go to the lab together. We'll both pretend that we are unconscious, and when that man in white clothes is off guard, well, that will be our chance. When we're on outside, let's look for Daddy together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th, 1967. Jessica Trevor. I'm Paradox, I guess. It's so long. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's good stuff. I hope he mentions it. Come on, we know Wesker's still alive. He's gotta be. I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing at it. Back 
on the GameCube, this is where it would tell you to switch discs. <laughs> Just so unceremoniously. <laughs> Just so funny. If you don't think so, that's your problem. I happen to think it's hilarious. Hey, that was my own face. I just saw I saw a face appearing on the on the uh, glass in the door, and I was like, "That can't be good." But no, it was just my reflection, Chris's reflection. No. Really? Did you fall for that? Dead now. Yes. Good. I should do it. Leave me with very little space. Hmm. This might be a bad idea, but I'm going to try it anyway. Kill the zombies before I have to do anything else. This is so. Deal with that problem. Right here and now. I'll refill my cares. Thank you very much. I will leave nothing but charred corpses in my wake. A moo disc. Pretty sure this door is locked, but I'll check anyway. important to get everything you can out of your way when you're down here when no obstacles
Don't tell me that. It is necessary. Damn it, game, do not lie to me. Don't like being lied to. a video game. Characters can lie to me. The game itself cannot. It's not allowed. Certainly not a fuel canteen. Looks like something you keep your hard liquor in. And I don't have a lot of experience with hard liquor. Or even soft liquor. Not a drinker. Researcher's note. There's now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them VX. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died trying to feed it, turning the place into a tragic into an instant bloodbath. Since this tragic and barbaric incident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We have decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the base backyard cemetery. And yeah, we dealt with that one already. Uh, John... Ada. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. We found that mixing green and red herbs results in a magnified effect. Ugh. 
swear to the past. Catches your attention. Something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Ah, my eyes! letter. June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you're not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass, but if it has turned out that you are now the last remaining person alive, I want you to go get the material from the visual data room. Then, activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the system, security system. I set the terminal in the small security room so that you can log in the system using my name and your name as a password. You will need another password to release the lock door in the basement level to the blah blah. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture, a retinogram. I know you, and I'm sure you're able to work it out without any trouble. There's just one last thing, and it's my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. John Ada. Lungs, I guess. Colon. C. 
C E Cell. Let's give that a go. Almost positive that's the right answer. Not just because it was our, it, the uh, puzzle clues indicated it, but also because um, my memory's coming back. What was the password in the original game? This one itself. Let's go see what's there, what's up there, eh? Hmm? Yeah? Yeah. Last demo disc, I was wrong. All is well. Security protocols. Level 1, heliport for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Basement level 1, passage to heliport entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. An authorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on sight. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Basement level 2. Visual data room for use by the Special Research Division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Kevin Arving, room manager. Basement level 3. Prison and Sanitation Divisions controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorized. Triple lock door entry into the room is limited to the sole person who act deactivates the lock with all the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers senior researchers deactivates the lock. Power room into this room in this room nitro compound is used as a primary source of fuel. Access is limited to the headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consulting researchers with special authorization. Excuse me. Passcode output terminals. Use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorized. Excuse me. Authorized senior researchers. Basement level four. Regarding the progress of Tyrant after the administration of T virus, legible hereafter. Who? I don't know. I haven't the foggiest. This one kind of 
back here later. Pretty sure I know where a uh, terminal I can use it on is located. There should be one in here. Sanitation Division. Lieutenant Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The content of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. At reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T virus outbreak than I initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern. More than half of the research have been infected by the T-Virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-Virus infection. Second concern, our secret security protocol control team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent, public, to ma prevent mass media coverage. Third concern. There is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Looks like a game cube, doesn't it? Piss flaps. Run back upstairs. Drop more shit off. Again, this is just what problem you have to deal with in your Chris. Inventory space is a premium.
see if I can find out where you are. Actually, let's save. We need to end this video. So, that's Blues 32. This is Resident Evil, the HD remaster. TTFN, ta-ta for now.